Hey guys, it's TechNet. We're back here at the location that we're going to install this computer. We're going to run some benchmarks real quick to see how this thing handles it. So I'm going to come over here and we are going to perform a performance test pass mark and see what we get. Come here and run the benchmark. So let's run pass mark. Yes, I want to run all tests. First, going to start doing uh, CPU tests and stuff like that. Then it moves on to 2D, then 3D, then memory, then disk. This is going to give you an overall squirrel. Squirrel. Overall squirrel. Yeah, you squirrel get your nut. Sorry, man, sometimes I just, I amaze myself. I'm gonna run these benchmarks, see how this goes, and then <laughs> This thing's smoking, it's, pretty good be something if you want to do video editing you might look at the upgrade i know it's only between 10 and 30 percent but i've seen my rtx uh, 2070 super get up to uh 80 60 80 percent with different adobe and after effects and photoshop i also use the nvidia studio drivers where, with them drivers versus the gaming drivers your results may vary uh, of course, the studio drivers being better for studio. Our gaming drivers are better for, you know, graphics, performance, and games. So you, you got to balance which one do you want. If you're going to be doing more video editing, it's a work PC um, or it's a gaming PC. So I would say, you know, if you have the, the money, split it apart. You got your, your video editing PC here and you got your gaming PC here. That way, if something happens to your gaming PC on this side and it goes poof, you know, it goes poof. You still have your video editing, you got your, you know, your main source of uh, being able to make videos and stuff like that, your content creation. It's, it's, a, it's a wise thing to do. It's what I'm doing. I had an 8700K with 32 gigabytes of RAM. It did video editing pretty well. And now I have a Threadripper 2950 with 128 gigabytes of RAM, the new Corsair CM600. It's like night and day. So you guys, this is what I used to use to talk to my girlfriend when I was younger. This was like the latest, greatest tech man back in the early 90s. It's like, man, look at this. I don't have a cord no more. I don't have to sit in the kitchen. I can go in my room and just lay in my bed talking with my girlfriend. That was the bee's knees back in the day. <clears throat> of course, you youngins are probably looking at me like, what is this, this old man talking about? Yeah. You got a pass mark rating of 5323, 91 percentile. That's pretty good for 600 bucks. I think that would be a good investment if you were get a gamer this would be the perfect entry level or budget conscious you know computer this thing this hp is absolutely awesome even i'm really surprised that 1660 ti that thing's a beast uh, six gigabytes fast that i'm pretty sure it can do 4k like you know not awesome 4k gaming but i'm pretty sure if you you tone down the settings the lowest medium on 4k it would do it yeah, uh, let's go on to the next test here. And of course, so let me get the next test up and running here. All right, guys, I'm back here with Nova Bench. We did the, the pass mark. We're gonna try out Nova Bench. I've never used this benchmark before. So let's see how it does. Let's see what their rating system is like and how they score stuff. I, I have no clue. So I'm doing it right along with you guys for the first time. You guys will see the benchmark. All right, guys, back here with the benchmark. It looks like we got an 815 CPU score, RAM is 128, GPU score of 1014, and a disk score of 134. We're looking at the RAM test, did test at 13,256 megabytes per second. Uh, GPU score, we got 166 FPS. OpenCL was 5,453 GF flops. Uh, write speed was 728 megabytes. Read speed was 1,000. So that's our NVMe disk that was doing that. Uh, looks pretty good, guys. I would say that that's a pretty good score. Of course, it's an you know, i5-9400F at almost 4 gigahertz per second. So I'm pretty happy with these results, guys. This this thing is for 600 bucks. This is a bet. You can get this guy for, you know, if you get on sale, 550, 600 bucks. Go and buy uh, a two terabyte disk, slap it in there. And then once you get some more money down the road, maybe look at selling the 660 Ti and get yourself a 2070 or 2060. You don't have to get the Super, just the normal. And they are absolutely just just, just hitting it out of the park with those graphics cards. So, all right, guys, this is Tech Nitwood. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all the subscribers. You guys have a, have a wonderful uh, rest of your day.
Hey guys, it's Tech Knitwood here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and hit that bell. Thanks.